Hello, people. It's F two nine. I'm playing the like, well, I guess not brand new, but the newest Yu-Gi-Oh game out there, Xbox Live Arcade Yu-Gi-Oh Five Ds Decade Duels. Uh, cost you ten bucks. Real great bargain. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm going ahead and start off saying I love Yu-Gi-Oh. I love Five Ds. It's my favorite um, series of them all. But we're playing the game. The game's a little bit different. And we're going to be building a deck. And I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to uh, build it. Now, we're looking here on um, the basic filtering. Um, all these little options here that will help you um, kind of sort out what cards can do what. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the basic monster cards. Basically, really easy. Um, when you're building your deck... I don't want to have some sort of balance between half your deck being monsters and the other half being spells and traps. Now, when you're picking your monster cards, you're going to want to keep in mind that you're going to have to have some sort of connectivity with them. Like, in instance, you could build a, uh, a type of deck, like a zombie deck or a warrior deck, you know, a dragon deck. You can build a certain um, monster deck such as a black wing deck or you know a crystal beast deck or you could go with an attribute deck which would um, you know be like a dark attribute deck a wind attribute deck earth light you can also go with um, fusion and uh, synchroing now in 5Ds, if you don't know how to synchro summon, then you're gonna have a game. Thankfully, there is there is a uh, tutorial to help you um, people who are um, new to 5Ds, as I was when I started playing this game, um, help you get into uh, synchro summoning. But regardless, you're definitely gonna want to have either synchro summons or fusion summons um, in your deck. I mean, there's a lot of uh, you know, monsters that you can, you know, tribute summon, and that's great and all. But, s with, um, you know, 5Ds and, uh, GX, um, fusion and, uh, synchroing, um, is definitely a big thing, and you're definitely gonna wanna have some monsters, um, that you can, uh, work with in, uh, those areas. Um, if not, um, you better, uh, have a pretty good, uh, Pretty good uh, tributing deck or something cool like that. Now we're done with the monsters. So now we're gonna go on to magics and traps. Pretty basic. Now, basic draw power is a good thing to have in any deck. However, drawing power isn't exactly the easiest thing in this game. There's a lot of limitations to drawing um, things such as um, Pot of Greed and Graceful Charity no longer in. Um, this game. Um, also, um, equipped spell cards. One could say they do or do not like equipped spell cards. I do. However, um, I know kind of the limit. Uh, basically, you just don't. You don't want to just spam your deck with equipped spell cards. You want to have an equal balance of um, all the different types of magic and traps available um, to you. And there's a lot of them. So, um, we'll go more in depth with magic and traps. I'm just, uh, picking out random ones here. But, um, uh, you want to have your magic and traps go sort of with your monsters, such as if you had a black wing deck, you might want to choose some sort of black wing, um, required magic cards or something like that. Um, field spell cards. Um, if you have a dark attribute deck, use Mystic's Plasma Zone. Um, that would really help you out. Now, you definitely want to have an equal balance of both magic and traps. Um, me, I tend to like more magics than traps. Um, so I'll have, you know, like 15 magics, 10 traps, or, you know, something a little more extreme. But basically, traps are, for me, they're just there to help, um, for one thing, destroy attacking 
all the, your opponent from attacking and negating and stuff like that. Yes, and now we're moving on to Synchro Monsters. And I'll go over Synchroing um, uh, a little more in depth. Um, basically, you're going to need um, Tuner Monsters. So while you're picking out your monsters, you're going to want to have some Tuner Monsters. And it'll say that right next to its um, type. Basically, Tuner Monsters can be combined with regular monsters, non-Tuner Monsters, to make Synchro Monsters. The combined stars of the tuner monster and any other number of normal or non-tuner monsters that you used has to equal that monster, that synchro monster, in order to uh, special summon it. Sounds kind of confusing, I know, but um, yeah. I'll go ahead and uh, do the uh, synchro summoning tutorial and uh, commentate that for you guys if you're still having trouble with that. Now here, I'm showcasing kind of like um, how to organize things. So here we're going to search Blackwing in the text. we got all these Blackwing cards, not just monsters, but magic and traps that go with Blackwings as well. And in case you guys didn't know, Blackwings are one of my favorite um, types of cards or uh, types of monsters to use. So we got a few uh, traps and magic cards here that require um, Blackwing cards, so slap those in there as well. And really, um, if you don't really know what you're doing um, just pick you know warrior or you know some sort of type of monster or you know um, think how uh, you get a lot of elemental hero cards in the beginning when you're first starting out so uh, that's pretty nice no idea what I'm doing right now yeah so now we're gonna go through all this bell cards right here I'm gonna go with the field spell and field spell cards. There's a specific spot on each um, player's um, zone. Basically, you put it down and it helps you somehow. It like an, an all-around effect, either for both sides of the field or for your field only. It'll only be one field spell on the field at once, though. Equip spell cards. These cards aren't exactly necessary. However, they do give your monsters a bit of a boost, so I do like my fair share. Um, however, you do not want to go crazy, kind of like what I'm doing here. Um, this is pretty much just for show, but um, one thing, make sure that your equipped spell cards actually go with the monsters that you have. Some spell cards only like equipped to warriors or something like that, so keep that in mind. Um, and only, you know, don't go overboard, maybe only have, maybe, uh, maybe two or three in your deck at once. Now going to normal spell cards, you got a bunch of stuff that you can do with normal spell cards. Like different, all different types and you you want to have a good mix. Um, like I said, draw power is always a good thing. Uh, being able to uh, get cards from your deck or from your graveyard back to your hand is also a good thing. Destroying monsters um, on the field, um, Gold Sarcophagus. That is an excellent, excellent card um, for getting um, card from your deck to your um, hand. Um, you also want to keep in mind uh, destroying other your opponent's uh, spell and trap cards. Cards like Heavy Storm or Mystic Space Typhoon. Um, polymerization. That's a must have if you're gonna be fusing anything together at all. You know, all these cards, um, just take a browse through them and try to um, fit them in with um, your playstyle. You know, um, Swords of Revealing Light, that's, uh, that's a great card. You know, keeps uh, your opponent from attacking you for three turns. You know, um, stalling until you can uh, you know, get, get your cards to, to uh, make your good combo or whatever. So we're moving on. Now there are also continuous and quick play magic cards. Continuous magic cards stay on the field after activated and basically you just you can keep using their effect based on what the card is. Quick play cards allow you to use these cards um, basically from your hand or um, otherwise whenever they can be played which is basically any time. You can even play quick spell or uh, quick play um, cards. 
uh, during your opponent's turn. And uh, they can, uh, they're kind of like a mix between a magic and a trapped card, kind of. Now going on to traps. Counter traps. These traps, again, are like negation or destroying. Like destroying an attacking monster, destroying a monster that was just summoned. Ending the battle phase like with negate attack. Soul Judgment gets to negate anything. Stuff like that. Definitely going to want to have a good mix of counter traps in your deck. Continuous traps basically have the same effect as continuous magic cards except they have to be face down for one turn. Um, thing you should know that traps can only be activated after being face down for a turn and can, if the situation is correct, be activated on your opponent's turn. Now we're just going to look at normal traps. And these traps are, you know, they're not, you know, negation, it's just the the way of using them and being able to activate them. Things um, such as, uh, you know, Defense Draw or Dust Tornado, Draining Shield right here. You know. um, these can uh, help, like uh, Jar Greed, help you draw. You know, just basically, uh, you know, Mirror Force, you know, that negate attack. Well, no, get not negate attack on what am I thinking of? Uh, I can't remember what I'm thinking of, but you know, all these cards, you know, they're uh, the trap cards are really good uh, parts um, of uh, your deck, and you definitely want to have a good balance of them. However, um, I tend to stick more to spell cards because um, for me, they help me more. So we're back on Synchro Monsters for whatever reason, and basically Synchro Monsters, again, can only be made by Tuner Monsters and non-Tuner Monsters. You don't need any special card, just a Tuner and a non-Tuner, and the monsters have to equal the same amount of stars as the uh, monster you're trying to Synchro Summon. Now, some monsters require certain Tuners, some monsters require certain non-Tuner Monsters such as um, Trident Dragon here requires non-tuner dragon monsters so they do have their limitations fusion monsters obviously you need the required monsters or substitute monsters for fusion um, in order to make them and also you're going to need um, some sort of spell card more, more commonly Fusion and Dark Fusion. There are other cards as well, such as Future Fusion, which is a field spell, Miracle Fusion, that you can also use um, depending on what kind of card you're trying to summon. 